Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we are on the streets of Cleveland this morning, and we're here with Hunter Morrison, who is the director of the Northeast Ohio Sustainable Communities Consortium. Hunter, thanks for talking with us this morning. Thank you. Thanks again to, for the opportunity to talk to you, Tom. Talk about this program. It's, it's really a very competitive federal program, right, that, that we were able to earn some money to, to do this. Yes, we, we won one of the largest grants, uh, $4.25 million. This is a highly competitive program. We were in the uh, first uh, group that uh, put, a, put a program together, and really the only one uh, that, in the process of uh, applying, created a new organization. So you created this group, uh, Northeast Ohio Sustainable Communities Consortium. I mean, you're doing a program called Vibrant Neo, where you're really engaging the public. And talk about this, because you, you've been involved for years in, in planning, both here in Cleveland with the city and also in Youngstown State University. What's different about this one? Because oftentimes we talk about engagement, but that's often where a lot of them fail. Well, there are, there are a couple of reasons why this is different. First of all, we're making aggressive use of social media uh, in ways that I think a number of these processes didn't. The second is we're making use of something called scenario planning, which is a process that allows us in a very disciplined way to look into the future. So it's not just what I want to be when I grow up, what is my wish list. It really has to do with what do we see happening on the ground based on trends and conditions of the last 20 years projected out to the next 25 for the 1.8 million parcels of land in Northeast Ohio. This is a very detailed look, but we can generalize that now through the power of GIS to really see, look into the future, and then ask some hard questions about, is this the future we want? What are the options, and how do those play out on the land? And how do those uh, play out on our budgets? What are the, what's the fiscal impact? So you've done a lot of research here, and you put this online, and you're asking people to come and have a look at that and, and then get engaged. You're doing some public meetings here coming up. That's right. We're having public meetings on, on April 30th, May 1st and 2nd throughout Northeast Ohio. And you're absolutely right, Tom. The information, sort of the homework, is on Vibrant Neo on our Condition and Trends uh, platform where you can go in and look at what's been happening in the last uh, 40 years, actually, on transportation and housing and communities and uh, the environment uh, and our economy and something we call quality connected places, which pulls it all together because we really live in places uh, in northeast Ohio. How does, and how do those places stack up? What can we look to for the future to build? What assets do we have? What challenges do we face? And where do we want to go? We're all about quality connected places at Cool Cleveland. It's kind of why we started was to kind of throw the spotlight on the cool stuff here. Talk about what's going to happen at these at these events because you're expecting young people to come and and really get engaged. That's right. There's there's sort of two parts of the of the two-hour session. One is to have a presentation to bring people up to date on what's going on. And again, it would be helpful if folks did their homework and went on, online, not only to register, but also to look at what's, uh, what, what's going on in the region and in their community in the region. But we'll talk about that. We'll talk about where the trends are leading us. And then we'll talk about and uh, around tables and the tabletop exercise around maps showing the consequences of following these trends out for 25 years and really get down to talking about values. What are the values that we share? What are the things that we're concerned about? What are the, what are the issues we want to really focus on? Because that will help our, us and our consultant team come back in several months in July with some options, some alternatives that take different tacks to the future. What are you seeing? You've been in this field for decades, really. What are you seeing as the trends? Has social media changed all of this all of a sudden because now everyone's an expert, everyone's a public planner? <laughs> and everyone's got an opinion about their community? Well, one of the things I've seen uh, just in the planning business generally is that everyone is a planner. And, and, and whether, you, whether you call it uh, uh, social media or guerrilla planning, there are a number of terms, but people are much more visually conscious. They're much more community conscious. The tools, the mapping tools, the GIS tools, the, the, the tools uh, to, of, about walkability, walk scores, things like that. So people can make comparisons. People can own and understand cities very quickly now. Um, and, and, and I think this is a change, and it's a change also uh, in the Gen X and millennial generation where they grew up in some of these cul-de-sacs, really don't like them, really love cities. Uh, their parents may have left cities and entering neighborhoods and put their kids out there. These are the kids that are, that are now filling up the downtown apartments in Cleveland, Ohio, beginning to fill up apartments in Youngstown and Akron. These, this is the issue. How do, we, how do we look to the next 25 years, which is that generation's future in Northeast Ohio? 
Hunter, it's always fascinating talking with you, and it could go on forever, but you've got work to do, and we will see you at, at these meetings, and we'll see much of the community there as well. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you again, Thomas. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.